Hello folks, it's been a quite a while since I've done any proper video um, just thought I'd explain the situation um, basically uh, my caring roles increased quite a bit for both my mum and my dad and so it, uh, it takes up most of my time mum's uh, stuck in a wheelchair and um, so we're in a chair all day, she can't move apart from when carers and that come. And um, Dad's getting very unsteady now, you know, can be expected, he's 93, getting on for 94. Um, so basically I haven't been up the allotment for most of the last year. Um, Nigel and Alison uh, are, have been looking after the hens and um, and the plot to some, um, been doing some weeding and that and picking fruit. Um, I've not been able to do anything at all. Just uh, just haven't got the time because you just you don't realise it. Just little things like um, if somebody comes to the door, you know, mum can't obviously move. My dad is very unsteady and he, he, he sleeps a lot. Um, so, if somebody comes, like you know, they they basically time they've got there, if they have at all, person's gone or delivery's gone. So, um, basically, I'm staying here. Um, there's been lots of appointments, lots of different you know people coming, nurses and social workers and all sorts. To, you know, really they've been really good. You know, trying to get different things support and that and hopefully we'll be able to take mum out in the wheelchair um, they're going to put a ramp and stuff in but uh, we'll see when that happens uh, we've got a hoist and that now so yeah so that's kind of um, it's it's took its toll on my time and on my energy levels and I've been very tired um, so a lot of the time I just don't feel like doing anything even you know even in around in and around the house and garden however I have forced myself and I've, I've started on a tidy up in the garden I'm going to show you around the garden in a minute and you're going to see it's it's in parts of it's been in a mess um, if you don't follow me on Facebook then you're missing out on a lot because I'm posting a lot of photos daily of the flowers, close-ups and that, which I'm going to use in my studio here uh, for painting. And you can't really, I don't know whether you can, see, you might just be able to see some down here. I've got three um, card display racks down here with, I don't know, maybe 60 different card, greeting cards designs what I'm doing things like like this or um, maybe like like that all for my own artwork and my own photos um, just trying to see if we've got something I've been working on some uh, kind of new New, new layouts these are all um, A5 and uh, the majority are A6 um, but can do either and um, so hopefully I'm kind of planning for the future um, getting the collection together and hopefully maybe sell a few or basically it makes me feel good it's it, I've got to have I've got to have an escape so I, I can just come into this office I can view what's happening in there through the computer because I've got software on or my phone I've got a camera in there um, and I'm just pottering a little bit around in the garden trying to get on top of things uh, but as I said I've been struggling now I don't know what's going to happen with the allotment. As it stands, I just can't get up there. Um, I don't really want to give it up because it could be hard to get 
hard to get one and hard to get it in shape again. Um, not that it's in shape at the moment, but... Um, I, d I just don't know. Um, the thing is, if I do keep it on, it's going to suffer a bit with weeds. And I don't also want to get a, a letter saying that it's a mess. So... I really am stuck with that at the moment. It uh, kind of gets me a bit down. Um, anyway, so yeah, so basically from here, um, hopefully things are going to sort themselves out and I'm going to have a little bit more time. Um, and I'm going to have the energy and then I will start doing some videos um, of the walks um, from the garden um, my art I'm, I'm, that is one thing which which I should be able to do because I've got um, I've got my studio here obviously and I've got um, space and that I've got facility now to do some digital art in the home or in here or whichever I prefer um, so wherever I go whichever direction I have to take video is going to continue however one thing which won't happen at my end is wine making because I've decided I need to free up the space um, and so I'm going to um, get rid of my my kits and that so you, you won't see any more of that from my house but uh, hopefully I'll be maybe it won't be the well it could be this year yeah um, you'll see me doing some more filming with Nigel hopefully fingers crossed if I can if I can get a bit more um, time where somebody's watching my parents Right then, so that's the intro, um, I think it, what we'll do now, we'll probably uh, have a pot around the garden, so I'll be back shortly. Okay folks, just before I go out into the garden, let's just show you some of my card designs. Now it's, it's under the work surface, so it's a bit dark, um, but at least you can get an idea. Because these are... Uh, mostly from my paintings, a couple of photos um, some are in A6, some are in A5 and we move across here um, pretty well all of these photos were taken this year barring just one I think all from, the, from my garden no, there's a couple, sorry, there's a couple, couple that weren't taken this year. And then we've got some more here. So, been very busy. Well, not really, but, you know, just when I got the old five minutes, I'd just go and print off one or two new ones, have a play around with the borders and what have you. And, um... And that's it. I'm hoping to uh, be able to sell some in packs of four. Um, I do um, will deliver to the UK, USA and Europe uh, for a set fee of £10 for four of these A6 cards. Um, I'm not sure on the larger cards, um, I would have to check on the price of what it would cost postage wise to uh, come up with an accurate price for them. Okay, so on to the garden. Okay folks, as promised, here's a look into my garden. And uh, you can see the dahlias are starting to come out. These are Bishop's children. That's the dark leaf ones. These here. There we are. 
I've had some lovely flowers hugging out this year. Unfortunately, um, you've probably missed if you haven't been following me on Facebook. Um, snapdragons, lots of beautiful colours there. Um, you know what? I've forgotten the, I've forgotten the name of this plant here. Can't remember. You can tell me. Be appreciated. It was one that my parents grew. Um, the rose has gone over now. It, it, it's been neglected. I don't know anything about roses, um, uh, but it was. It had dozens of uh, flowers on it. I can see it's got what's it? Black spot and what have you? Yeah. It's, it's, there's a plant I don't like. Uh, not to handle anyway. And then over here we've got some of those Flanders poppies. These have been beautiful. We've had quite a few out. We've got the daisies. The um, Sweet Williams were brilliant. They were absolutely fantastic this year. They've all been cut back. And uh, over here we've got another plant. Now these are seeds what have been set. Now I'm not sure what this is either. Um, so if you can tell me, that would be appreciated. It's lovely, I love the colour. Just love it. And then we've got some uh, white cornflowers there. I've still got some pansies flowering from um, last autumn. And then as you can see, we've got lots of uh, yellow dahlias. These are beautiful, these are all, all starting to bud. We've got some uh, nice coloured ones here. This is a Bishop's Children. You can see the different colours. We've got a lovely orange and yellow here. And then we've got some... Look at that, they're beautiful. Now this one here, I did damage the, um, the plant. So whether that... Whether that survives is a different matter because I was up here doing some weeding over here doing some weeding and uh, I fell backwards and uh, knocked it all over and broke a stem so we'll have to see whether that survives you can see there's a leaf there but it was the main stem so I'm hoping it'll be all right I've got the geraniums um, uh, they certainly are bushing out and you can just see the flower heads uh, starting to appear. I haven't weeded this part, um, well not recently, it has been weeded. Um, you can see over there, these are all zinnias. And then we have got some dahlias now at the back there, but just look at how everything's gone mad. So this is my next job for this week to actually cut back um, all these shrubs and get it all weeded and looking nice. I've, I've done this garden bit and I've done the, the garden pad all the way down, down here. Um, so bit by bit, as I say, times of struggle. So the apples folks, the apples. They are not looking too bad, you know. These are Lord Lambourne. Let's see if we can... Got to get used to filming again, I? I haven't done any for a while. So there is a few uh, specks on them, but they're not, not as bad as they uh, normally are. So, uh, looks as though better crop than, uh, than maybe last year, where I lost most of them. Right, so what we got over here? So over here we've got some um, begonias. These never got put in; they just got left in the pots. But they've they've given a load of colour, and I've just basically left them um, to get on because I, I didn't have the time. The marigolds um, are, are going over. Just gonna take the top off to allow some of the others to grow. It's a weed. Um, 
my uh, lupins. These are dwarf lupins. Been beautiful. Um, been flowering for quite some time. You can see that uh, they've gone to seed in that, so that's great. I'll have seed for next year. This uh, area I've, I've got to get weeded. I haven't done this yet. Um, lots of snapdragons and various uh, other plants, including some blue uh, cornflowers. Um, Calundulas and that have, have been fantastic, um, but uh, it's been neglected a little. There's uh, one or two dahlias I can see popping up, so um, and there's one or two other plants, I'm not quite sure what they are in there, so I'll have to be careful when I do the weeding. Down here we've got some white dahlias. Um, these here are cosmos. And over here we've got some orange cosmos. And uh, I've got uh, Bishop's Children. And then we've got various flat flower plants in, flowers in here because I sprinkled seeds in here. Um, so there's all sorts from poppies to... Um, uh, I'm just trying to... Mental blockage folks, I've forgotten the name. Oh, it'll come back to me. Um, more lupins, they never actually got to be put in. And... Um, but I've still kept watering them and then I'll put them somewhere for next year. This lot never got done so that can all be cleared out. Let's just get out and just look at those. Aren't they beautiful? Californian poppies. Again, we've got some dahlias coming up here. So that'll add colour soon. I've um, got a lupin down here. This one here is uh, Evening Primrose, which comes out in flower at night. It's been, it's been beautiful. Um, again, I've got another dahlia in here. It's still developing it, and some yellow poppies. We've got some. Uh, now I'm not sure what these are. I'm not sure what they are. Perhaps you can tell me. They're only just a bit bigger than my finger. They're beautiful, some sort of daisy, I'd imagine. But and you can see we've got some Californian poppies. Again, we've got some dahlias to come up. Um, it's been beautiful. We had we had Oriental poppies, which we've cut back. Um, yeah, it's been fantastic. The clematis up here has been beautiful and that, that's all gone over now. And uh, I've been working on tidying that up because some of the uh, bush or tree or something's grown in, into it, which I hadn't noticed. And that's what that big stem there, the trunk there is. So I'm going to, well, I was thinking of sawing it off, but to be honest with you, it's a good support, so I might leave it and just keep it on at bay. Um, Cosmos. And you can just see all the different white daisies. Looks beautiful. I've got, um, I haven't looked on the plum tree recently. Um, there was plums on there. Yeah, it still is. They're green, they're hiding away. You can uh, possibly see just up there somewhere. Um, I don't know how many's on the tree. Uh, the pears are looking fantastic this year. There's loads of them on there. And we have got some. Uh, Apple trees at the back there, which have got a few apples on, so not looking too bad. I've actually gave this a summer prune, this apple tree, so that's why it's, there's not too many upright stems. Um, so that's basically it, folks. You can see it's a little bit of a, a mess, but, of, but it's it could be a lot worse. Um, it won't take me long to sort it out. Um, you can see geraniums never got to put, be put back, it got to be put anywhere. Um, 
keep watering them and they'll flower and I'll probably put the tray put some of them up on here I think um, so we can look out from the living room it's a hot day today but I think it's going on for 30 <coughs> excuse me 30 celsius so that's it folks hope you've uh, enjoyed the little update uh, and uh, until next time bye bye